also shot filling the Milton the Monster Show. It's daring and scary, you'll find yourself staring at Milton the Monster Show. Your flesh will creep, your heart will thump, the sights will paralyze. But then you'll see the strangest things that ever met your eyes. It's loony and goony and practically swoony. You'll shake and you'll quake at the sights that they make on the Milton the Monster Show. Introducing the star of this show, Milton the Monster. He blows his stack when he flips his lid. Although he's a monster, he's just a big kid. And now he's ready to go on the Milton the Monster Show. Brought to you by... Faster than a streaking rocket. Speedier than a flash of light. It's Fearless Fly! Possessed with a super strength so powerful, no fly swatter can harm him. No fly paper can hold him. No insecticide can stop him. Always careful not to reveal his true identity, Fearless Fly hides from view as he removes his glasses, which generate millions of megatons of energy through the sensitive muscles in his head, and becomes a meek, mild, passive little fly known as Hiram. Hi, Flory. What are you doing? I'm making Horsey Little Fly a costume for the masquerade party. What are you going as, Horsey? Fearless Fly. Fearless Fly? What are you going as? I haven't decided yet between Blackbeard the Pirate or Red Riding Hood. Why don't you wear what you have and go as Yellow Hiram? Meanwhile, in his secret castle in the icy mountains of far-off Tibet, we find the infamous genius, Dr. Gu Fi. One of these days, I will install chimes. You gong for me, Dr. Gu Fi? Yes, Gung Ho. I want me. I mean you. My porters have brought me news of a powerful insect known as Fearless Fly. I have never heard of such a creature in all my 972 years. I must capture this fearless fly. And add him to my collection of the abominable snowman. The killer gorilla. And the man-eating plant from Madagascar. How do you propose to capture this fearless fly? It's simple. You will find Fearless Fly and lure him into this box. Then bring him back to you. I mean me. I forgot the box. Your costume is ready, horsey. Good. Ta-da-da! <laughs> this costume would fool anybody. I think I'll go outside and sign some autographs. Step right up, folks. Get your free Fearless Fly autograph. By the beard of the prophet, Fearless Fly. Hey, would you like my autograph? Oh, yes, I have the autographs of all the greats of the world. Would you like to see them? Sure, where? Right in this box. Hey, let me out. Help! That sounds like Horsey the Fly. Help! Somebody save me! He needs help. I better go look for Fearless Fly. At last, I have the famous Fearless Fly. 
I'm not fearless fly. I'm just plain cowardly horsey to fly. My long-range super telescopic eyeglasses will tell me where horsey the fly has been taken. Aha! That's the castle of the sinister Dr. Goofy. But I told you I'm not fearless fly. I will make sure. I will put you in the cage with Killer Gorilla. If you are not fearless fly, Killer Gorilla will tear you wing from wing. If you are fearless fly, I will free your body for posterity. Don't I get a third choice? <laughs> fearless fly! You are fearless fly. You take the word of a gorilla against the word of a fly? Into the vat. Help! Help! There's no time to lose. Two fearless flies after that one. them both. I've waited 972 years to capture a fly like that, and I will get one if it takes a lifetime. Wait till you see my new costume. You mean you're not going as fearless fly? No, this outfit is a lot better. And safer, too. Goodbye. It was for you, Professor Weirdo. What's the message? It's coming up now. Milton, you're kind, cheerful, trustworthy, gentle, tender, friendly, and courteous. But you're holding up the show. Make room for what's coming up next. Yum a diddy dum dum diddly poo. Here comes your pal Muggy Doo. Now when there's trouble, I don't mind it, cause you can bet that I'm behind it. Yum a diddy dum dum diddly dee. Muggy Doo, boy fox, that's me. Imagine a guy with my brains reduced to fishing quarters out of a sidewalk grating. Whoop! I think I got something. What are you, a wise guy? This is my territory. Hey, pal, if it's quarters you're after, you could pick up plenty working in here. The manager's looking for a bellhop. You got yourself a deal. You rang? What took you so long? I was up on the 38th floor. Well, stand by for action. The famous movie star tag ending is expected any moment. Oh, that must be him now. Hey, what's the matter, fella? Can't you read? <coughs> what have you done? Threw the bum out, naturally. Boy, did you get a load of those rags he had on? You fool! That was Tag Ending himself! His fans are always ripping his clothes to shreds. Don't panic! Go get him, Tiger! Right this way, pal! Quickly, boy, the keys to Mr. Ending's suite! Toot sweet! How exhausting. Wherever I go, screaming mobs trying to rip the clothes off my very back. I know what you mean. I used to buy my suits on credit, too. No, no, they're for souvenirs. My people have paid hundreds of dollars for the a snip of my clothing. Hundreds of dollars? Hold it. The 
this jacket is all wrinkled. I'd better have it pressed. Do be careful. It's frightfully expensive. Don't worry. I'll be back in a flash with the cash. Uh, cashmere. <laughs> Yes? Madam, could I interest you in a snip of Tag Ending's jacket? Tag Ending? Tag Ending! Me first! Save some for me! Don't crowd, ladies. There's plenty for all. Only $20 an inch. Save me the lapel. I want the button. Me said I'd never get anywhere being a cut-up. Here's your jacket. Good as new. Good heavens, it's riddled with holes. Yeah, we have an awful time around here with moths. Square ones. Oh, never mind about the jacket. I simply must have my beauty rest. My entire profile is sagging. Sure, pal. Just lie down and I'll see that you're not disturbed. I'd better take the sheet out and have it laundered. Here it is, girls. Tag endings actual bed sheet. Only $50 a swatch. So it shrunk a little. Don't worry, I'll tuck it in. What's this? A lumpy mattress. <laughs> this is the actual mattress. The cushion is manly torso. Only $50 a handful. Who said you can't get rich picking cotton? Here you are, pal. Not a lump in it. <laughs> Lucky you noticed those springs are sagging. Tag Ending's own personal bed springs. Only $80 a piece. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. You charlatan. Call the police. There's a thief in my room. Here's a wig. I could get a fortune for this. Mr. Ending, you all right? Uh-oh. I gotta think fast. You okay, sir? I can't really tell until you remove this ragged creature. It leaked. He thought I was tag ending. Now to take my loot and scram. Hey, yes, it's him. Ladies, tag wait. Ending. Well, broke again. Hey, just what I need, the one ads. Tag ending? You. Now look, don't get mad. Mad? I'm eternally grateful. You've shown me how I can appear in public without being mobbed by those ghastly females. How can I ever repay you? Simple. Here you are, ladies. A genuine slap from a very park bench a tag ending slept on. Only $50 a foot. Hey, isn't anyone interested? He is. top of Old Horror Hill, in a secret laboratory, Professor Weirdo and Count Kook were in their monstrous glory. Six drops of the essence of terror, five drops of sinister sauce. When the stirring's done, may I like the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course. Now for the tincture of tenderness, but I must use only a touch. For without a touch of tenderness, it might destroy me. Oops, too much. Better hold your breath, it's starting to tick. Better hold my hand, I'm feeling sick. Hello, Dad. What have I done? I'm Milton, your brand new son. Count Cook! Count Cook! What now, Professor Weirdo? Something wonderful has happened. You got rid of Milton. Not that wonderful. 
Look! I got a letter from my Aunt Hagatha. The witch! Dear nephew, I'm arriving tomorrow to see them. To see who? The monsters, you dunce. She should like Hebe. He's a red-blooded, all-American monster. She'll adore GB. But Milton, when she sees him, she'll never give me her secret recipe for making monsters. It's Milton with my hideous guillotine. It's a miracle. Oh, hello. Would you like a slice of salami? Salami? And I thought you changed. I did. I used to like liverwurst. Goodbye. I'm going on a picnic. A picnic? I'll drive you, Milton. It'll be the longest drive he ever had. When are we going to stop for the picnic? Shortly. This place is too crowded. Here? No. Too many ants. I'm getting hungry. Okay, Milton, you can get out here. Mush. I really hated to do that. He has my last salami. And Hagatha should be arriving any minute now. Isn't she handsome? La, 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 la. That's the last time I'll take one of these champagne flights. Horror Hill, turn right on Elm. Those women drivers. Fenty. And Hagatha. Montgomery. Montgomery? I can't stay long. I'm late for a broom drag race. Let me see your monsters. And if you expect to get one of my secret witchcraft recipes, they'd better be good and bad. PB, GB. Well, do you like them, Auntie? Crazy, especially this one. If I were only 20 years younger. Montgomery, you outdid yourself. Then you'll give me one of your fabulous secrets? We'll see. Dinner is served. That was a wonderful dinner, especially the goulash. We used our best ghoul. And now for some entertainment. My monsters have prepared a little recitation. Go ahead, GB. Don't be bashful. For his birthday, I'm getting him a contact lens. To Aunt Hagatha. Blood is red, veins are blue. We hope the girl we marry is as horrible as you. That was lovely. And as a reward, I will give you one of my secret recipes. Who can that be? Milton. I forgot the mustard. My broom, my magic flying golden broom. I'll buy you something better, a carpet sweeper. Well, I've got to be going, and here's a secret recipe. You're not angry about Milton? Oh, he may be clumsy and childish, but I must admit, he does have an intelligent forehead. With Auntie's secret recipe, I'll make such a monster, he'll even get rid of Milton for me. It's done. Spaghetti and meatballs. Well, goodbye. Milton, you're leaving for good? No, for marinara sauce.
What are you peeking at, Milton? Some scenes from next week's show. Gung ho to Goofy. I see the matchbox. Good. Light the fuse and dive. Here I go. Mr. Derma, uh, Mr. Beeswax is here. Quick, let's get rid of this food. I better sneak these things out of here. Ay, ay, ay. Professor Fruitcake? Professor Weirdo, I found it. Quick, open it up. In a moment, I will have Professor Fruitcake's secrets. The bells that are ringing say it was fun bringing you Milton the Monster Show. Though daring and scaring, it was a joy sharing the Milton the Monster Show. Now all of us must take that creepy trip down Hara Hill. Beware of the dangers along the way, or you may take a spill. Thrilling and chilling and also shock filling Twas loony and goony and practically swoony The Milton the Monster Show When he flips his lid and he blows his stack He says goodbye but next week I'll be back So be here when he's ready to go On the Milton the Monster Show to you, bye.